my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another cook with me. We will be making chicken, broccoli, and rice crepes. They are a family favorite recipe with us. They were The recipe was given to me by a family friend a long time ago and I really didn't have to do much to make them WW friendly because they pretty much were from the beginning. So don't be intimidated by crepes. They are not hard at all. They're really not. Do they take a little time? Absolutely. But it's definitely worth the effort. So let's get started on dinner. Okay, so for our crepes, which we're gonna make first because they need to sit for a half an hour, two thirds cup of flour, three quarter cup of skim or 1% milk, three eggs, essential in crepes, probably got a little shell in there, but I don't think I did, two tablespoons of light butter melted, and one teaspoon of salt. Sorry, life's happening around me. And then we're just gonna whisk this all together. Till it's well combined. I normally use my nice big whisk, but in the dishwasher and that's how lazy I am. I didn't even feel like pulling it out and cleaning it. So I'm using this tiny little thing. Which is really a pain in the neck. Lesson learned, don't be lazy. Okay. So we are just gonna set that aside and let it sit for 30 minutes. And we're gonna get started on the filling for the crepes. Okay, we're gonna get started on the filling. The recipe calls for two cups of cooked chicken cubed, very small. This is a little more than two cups, so. Just not gonna use all of it. And then one and a half cups of cooked rice. Then one and a half cups of broccoli cooked and chopped. Um, this is a 12 ounce bag. I'm just throwing it all in. I'm not measuring it. And two tablespoons of chopped onion. I'm going to mix this together. Till it's pretty well combined. Make sure everything is dis evenly distributed. And at this point, any other spices you would like to add, you can. I don't really add much to it except a little bit of salt and pepper. The onion's really strong. Sorry about my cameraman um, the coughing pepper. there. It's the pepper. Oh, it was the pepper? Yes. Okay, because the onion's really strong. My eyes are starting to water a little bit. Real life, folks. You know I say it every single time, every single video. The dog's barking, the husband coughing. It is what it is. Okay, now I'm going to add one cup. The cat tormenting the dog. Of chicken gravy. The, reg the recipe on the website calls for the Heinz fat-free chicken gravy. Yeah, they had none at my store, so I am using <coughs> the Bell's chicken gravy. This actually has no fat. It's It does come up a little bit more points than the Heinz, but I put it in and it does not change the points of the recipe. So just something to be aware of. Okay. 
And as always, this looks like a ton of filling. <laughs> Pepper's really getting to them. Okay, so there we go. That is nice and combined. And now we are gonna set that aside and it has been 30 minutes for the crepe batter, so we are gonna get making our crepes. An eight inch pan heating, o heating over medium heat, and I've sprayed it with nonstick spray. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quarter cup of the crepe batter, maybe a little less, pour it in the pan, and swirl it around to cover the bottom. I'm just gonna let it sit and cook till the edges are cooked and the center is set. You can swirl it a little more to thin it out. And then you're just patient and you wait, unless you're impatient like me. It wouldn't be a cook with me video if the dogs weren't going ballistic because someone has the nerve to walk down the sidewalk. Okay, now we're going to get our spatula under there and flip it over. This actually could have gone a little bit longer until it was golden brown. We're gonna cook this side until it's golden brown and the edges are curling nicely. I always have to experiment with the first one or two for timing. I like mine just a little bit brown. Not too well done. another five or ten seconds. Normally I would take this right out of the pan. But I'm going to flip it just to get that other side. That's perfect in my opinion. I'm just going to get the other side a little brown and I'll do one more for you and then I'll get the rest done off camera and show you how we assemble them. Now I'm going to take it put it on a plate. It has a damp paper towel and just cover it up. I'm going to respray. Get this in the pan. Swirl it around. See, it's starting to cook quicker this time, so I'm going to cut down the heat a little bit and let that cook. And try to shut the dog up. I greatly apologize. But, you know, real life. Okay, now I'm trying to hold the camera and flip this. This is going to be fun. Oh, look at that. Here we go. They're still barking. You didn't shut them up. I can't help it. <sighs> All day they don't bark. I start filming and they bark. I guess if I was a good YouTuber, I'd scrap it and start over, but I'm not. Okay, and then that one is done. I'm just gonna add that to the other one and keep going on my crepes. And I will be back to show you how to assemble. Honestly, as soon as I shut the camera off to finish the crepes, the dogs stopped barking. I went to turn it back on and they started again. So now they're locked in my son's room with him. Anyway, we're gonna take the rest of the jar of gravy that we took the one cup out of. We're gonna dump it into the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. And spread it around. And I'm just gonna use a little bit more of the second jar. 
Just a little. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea to spray the bottom of the pan, you know, now that I have the gravy in there already. Okay, so that's ready to go. We're just gonna set that aside and we're gonna start assembling our crepes. And like I said, use a scant quarter cup because you need to get 10 crepes out of it. I think we're gonna have way too much filling. And also another little tip, the longer you make the crepes, the hotter the pan gets. So honestly, when you're getting towards the end, they're only taking 10 seconds on each side. You're gonna have to keep turning the pan down. Okay, so we're gonna take some filling, put it down the middle of the crepe. Should I weigh out this and measure it? I should. Am I? Mm, no. Oops. That's what happens when you're not paying attention to what you're doing. So you're just going to fold those up and lay them seam side down in the pan. And if any filling falls out, we're just going to tuck it right back in. And we are going to repeat this process with all the crepes. And like I said, if you want to be 100% exact, and I usually am, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's getting late and we need to eat. You can weigh it, divide it by 10. But it is so well combined that we're, we're definitely getting the right amount of everything. And that's all you do. Fill up our crepes. This was a little one. This is a tiny one. That was towards the end of the barrel. And then when I get them all in the pan, I will show you what we do next. So apparently with all the dog barking, it messed up my count. I have 11 instead of 10. No wonder I was running out of crepe batter. Oh well, that's okay. I can't believe I'm actually going to show this video to you guys. I really can't. We're gonna take the rest of the gravy and we're gonna just pour it right over top. Now, you do not have to use jar gravy. You can make your own. But for ease and simplicity, I'm using a jar tonight. And we're just gonna do this. And we're gonna smother that gravy all over them. And then we are going to pop this in the oven, uncovered at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And there you have it. Chicken, broccoli, and rice crepes. And here is our chicken, broccoli, and rice crepes. Plate it. I am serving them with a side of green beans. The point value, two crepes, which is a serving, is six freestyle smart points. The family said they are a tad bit salty, so next time I will not add that extra salt and pepper into the filling mixture.